has been promoting dialogue and cooperation between all stakeholders, governments, the civil society, including the private sector, as well as international organizations. The whole nature of the ITU reflects the WIS's collaborative principles. The ITU is the sole international organization within the UN system which is open to representatives of governments, civil society, private sector, and other international and regional organizations. With the recent addition of Taimur Liste, the ITU now counts 192 member states as well as more than 700 sector members and associations, ranging from industry to academia, from regional organization to civil society entities. We at the ITU firmly believe in this open and inclusive approach. This is also explain why ITU is one of the most active international organization in the promotion of the WISIS and its core values, building together an inclusive information society. With its mission in mind and within our mandate, the ITU has been continuously encouraging an open and transparent dialogue among the relevant stakeholders and among the wider internet community. All players in the ICT fields can join this global platform, and indeed, a number of them have already done so. Several extremely active entities of the internet community, such as ISOC and some of the, re uh, of the regional internet registries, have, uh, are members of the ITU already. Let me seize this opportunity to invite the entities you represent and who haven't done so uh, to join the ITU and enrich the dialogue, design even more inclusive solution and shape the future of the information society. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few weeks, I will be in Guadalajara in Mexico, where the ITU is holding its plenipotentiary conference at the kind invitation of the government of Mexico. ITU membership will decide on the priorities of our work for the four years to come. And our members have already put on the agenda a number of issues of interest to the IGF community. These include internet-related issues such as internet public policies and the role of intergovernmental organization in promoting and facilitating access to ICT infrastructure, services, and applications, as well as IT literacy. We should also discuss issues such as cybersecurity, child online protection, migration to IBV6, as well as the role of ICTs in mitigating the effects of climate change. I have noted that several debates and workshops will take place during the IGF on issues of great interest for our next conference and for our membership. This is why I have come to Vilnius. I intend to listen with great attention and interest to the messages coming out of this uh, year's IGF discussion. Indeed, the opinion of the IGF community matters to me and to the ITU and its membership. Therefore, our debates here at the IGF will help me in my future discussion with the ITU members uh, as, set, uh, as setting out priorities for our future work. Ladies and gentlemen, ITU has been supporting the IGF process as one of the components of the WISIS, and uh, I, I am convinced that this interaction must be pursued for the benefits of the world, and in particular, for the benefits of the developing countries who need our full support in their efforts to bridge the digital divide. International cooperation is key in building of the information society, let, let us work together to connect the world and to make, uh, to make it a better place 
for all.